The women at the wall are the prophetesses of our time because they are challenging and have been challenging the injustice in sacred space. There isn't anything more prophetic than that. Good morning. Welcome back to Cron 4 News Weekend. We are taking a short look at one of the 70 films that make up this year's Jewish, San Francisco Jewish Film Festival, a Bay Area tradition. The 28th annual Jewish Film Festival is in full swing now. Executive Director uh, uh, Peter Stein joins us along with filmmaker Yait Katsir. And we're seeing a little bit of uh, uh, Yael's film, uh, which is called Praying in Her Own Voice. And it, it's briefly about the freedom to worship. And we'll be talking to uh, y'all about that in a little bit. But Peter, let's start with you. First of all, congratulations. Well, 28 thanks. years. 28, yes. 70 films from 70 19 films. countries. That's correct. It's, a, it's the biggest and broadest festival that we've presented. Uh, and we actually also have spread out further this year. We're continuing our programming in San Francisco. Today is the opening day in Berkeley and in Palo Alto. And next Saturday, we start up in San Rafael. So we're all over That's the map. That's fantastic. Well, as it should be. I mean, you're covering all parts of the Bay Area. Yeah, well, tell me a little bit about, about your film, uh, Praying in Her Own Voice. Actually, the film deals with a very unique group of women that are struggling to pray, uh, wrapped in prayer shawl, and they wish to read from the Torah aloud and have their voice in a place that is a public place, but the ultra-Orthodox don't accept this right. And this is a very, very long struggle, and they are struggling now for almost 18 years. Was it difficult to get these women to come forward to speak to you on film? This was not the problem. The problem was to be able to uh, photograph in, in this area ah. and uh, there was a lot of opposition and almost riots from the ultra-orthodox uh, people there and especially, and this is what struck me, from ultra-orthodox women and I would expect that women will not go against women but this is what happened because they were so brainwashed and incited by by the men who who ruled them actually. So the solidarity of gender wasn't necessarily true in this case. Absolutely it was the opposition. <laughs> <laughs> Very strong film it's, and it runs uh, today in Palo Alto and tomorrow Sunday ah, in, in Berkeley. Excellent. How did you meet? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, Elle is um, actually, a, she's, a, she's a veteran filmmaker and one of many filmmakers that we've brought from, from Israel this year. It's the 60th anniversary of the State of Israel and we've done a focus in our festival this year on films that represent the diversity of social and cultural movements in Israel. So we have films on black Bedouin filmmakers, we have films from Palestinian voices, and we have films on a, a struggle for, for women's right of equal uh, access to mm -hmm. the house, uh, to the to worship in, in Israel. It seems to me that that's been one of the strengths of the film festival throughout the years is that you have brought to light a lot of communities that ordinarily would not be seen by a mainstream audience. That's right. You know, um, we think in the United States of Jewish culture and Jewish subject matter. Um, we, we know the entertainment industry. We know Woody Allen. We know Barbara Streisand, and we know Seinfeld. But of course, Jewish life is very rich, very diverse, multiracial multicultural and so one of the goals of the festival is to present a, a very complex and diverse yeah, sets of view and that seems yeah. to reach many of our Bay Area audiences Jewish or not in fact about 30 percent of our audiences every year um, are claim that you know that they're not Jewish at all right. just coming for the good movies sure uh, one thing we want to do before we go too much further is put up a uh, information on the screen about uh, about the uh, film festival again 28th annual uh, in the midst of the run until August 11th and and for more information, the numbers are on your screen, 415-621-0556, or you can go online, sfjff.org. One of the films that you have uh, tells us, a, well, first of all, let's go to the Freedom of Expression Award winner. Yes. Tell us a little bit about him. Uh, an amazing Hungarian filmmaker named Peter Forgash who uses people's home movies from the 20s and 30s to tell stories about families that you otherwise would never have met. So we've got three films of his in the festival this year. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'm Unfortunately, we're out of time. No problem. But thank you vo both for joining us, Peter and Yael. Thank you and congratulations. Thanks, Marty. On yet another successful year. Thanks for having us. Thank All you right. very much. We will be right back with more on Cron4 News Weekend. Stay with us. Go to cron4.com and click on the gift store link for half-price gift certificates.